Hey, Keiko. I'm back. What took you so long? Whoa, easy. Everything alright? No. There's a dead body right in the middle of the floor, and I'm pretty sure it's a very popular celebrity. You've been gone all day. Where were you? Yeah, I knew I forgot something this morning. Keiko, I can assure you that is not who you think it is. Prove it. Take off his hat. I don't want to touch him. Alright, here, move. There. Oh, um, oh wow. Yeah, his hair is usually brown, isn't it? His eyes look... Oh, oh ew, ew, his mustache just fell off. Uh. Yeah, that's very obviously fake. Here. I'll go bury him. I just need you to cover for me while I'm doing that, right? If you don't mind, that is. I want to force it on you. I know you're um, still kind of uncomfortable with the whole recording thing. What do you mean, Cuff? Oh, want me to record a whole video by myself? No, I'll show back up as soon as I can. You know, as soon as I get this, uh... Yeah, I'll be right back. for now. Um, he told me that we were doing side stories in this game, so I'm supposed to find a Rattam or something. Let me just, um, find the map here. Let's see here, um, I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Um, uh, oh, oh, I think this is it. Okay. Okay, so there are some notes here. I think I was supposed to find some kind of... Yeah, okay, I think, I think that's it. I'm gonna... Attention all okay, so brothers. these notes say not to bother with all urgent quests. I'm supposed to we ignore those. I don't see any other other things there, so... Let's try it now. Perfect timing. Can we talk? Sure. What do you think of the people of Rattan? I think they're great. Of course. Me too. When we first got here, I thought all of them were really super scary. Fighting is part of life for them. So they give up this total, only the strong survive, vibe. Or like, they really believe that might makes right. Yeah, that is scary. Remember how uptight they were when we got here and Renis Ritem attacked? They acted like they couldn't be bothered with some outsiders like us. But after getting to know them, I know that's not how they really are. When I made the effort, I found out that they're really kind. That's great. They even showed me how to survive in the desert. They told me all about which enemies I should be aware of, where to find food, and all kinds of other really helpful advice. A lot of them also asked me about Alio. They haven't interacted with the outside world much, but they are interested in it. It's just that they've been so busy fighting that they didn't have time for much else. And even their strongest fighters never brag. They look out for each other, protect the weak, and help those in need. Oh! And they also talked about Nadara a lot. I could really tell that they were doing everything they could to support her. Not only do they respect her, but they completely trust her to lead them. I can really feel how united all the people of Ratem City are. When I stopped to think, it made me realize that the people of Aliotown are the same. <laughs> I almost feel like I found my new hometown. Which means I need to do my part to be a contributing member of Ratem Arcs too. 
You can do it. <laughs> I know I can do it. That was nice. I kind of like talking to Ina. Okay, let, let's see what else we have here. Just these two? Okay, let's let's talk to Dozer first. It's you. I haven't seen you in Ritem since the battle with Renus. Did something happen? No, nothing to worry about. Just a little periodic check-in with Hattie. We could have talked over comms, but Sometimes it's nice to get together in person. It can be. Anyway, that's over. And now, I'm just taking a little breather. Hattie and I have known each other a long time. I remember that day long ago. Our squad was on an expedition to Ratem, and we came under a massive Dolls attack. That's when I met Hattie for the first time. Our guys were hurting pretty bad. Hattie's squad was even worse off. Hattie is a brave and capable Arx defender, but that day, he'd spread himself a little thin protecting his comrades. And then the dolls attacked him from all sides. I lent a hand and helped get him out of a bad scrape. And we've been good friends and comrades in arms ever since. I guess we just understand each other. We're both casts, and we're both loyal supporters of our leaders. When the war was going really bad in Ratem, and none of us could even get away to go help, we lost touch for a while. But now we're close again, just like old times. You sound like really close friends. And it's entirely thanks to you three again. I'm truly grateful. Wait, I'm confused. Which... Oh... You're not better than me, right, right, right. Um, yeah. You know, I think the voice volume is a bit too low on this. According to these notes, thrush has been meaning to do it, to change it, you know, to increase it for a while, but keeps forgetting, which, yeah. Here, hopefully this helps. Yeah, okay, I think this should do it. Don't worry about the enemies attacking me, they're too weak to worry about. Okay, let's see who's... I think there's Hotties left? Unless there's more Dozer dog. Or side story, sorry. Why is he up there? Well... Ah, it's you. Standing here with you like this, it makes me remember that day. I mean the day that I first met you folks. This is the one and only trade route between Ratem and Aelio. I've met all kinds of people here. This is also where I first ran into Dozer as well. I remember it clearly. Back then, just like today, there was a large incursion of dolls in the area. We had people out here on patrol each and every day. And then, one day, my squad and I were here scouting around, and we came under sudden attack. We were heavily outnumbered, and little by little, the enemy closed in on us. I put my guys behind me and tried to protect them to the best of my ability. Before I knew it, I fought my way through countless enemies and found myself at the edge of the fight. And that's when I noticed. In addition to me and my squad, there were others here fighting the dolls as well. It was Dozer and his squad. At the time, his attention was entirely on the enemy, directly in front of him. He apparently hadn't noticed that another doll's unit was sneaking up behind him. 
So, I instantly mowed that enemy down and got Dozer out of a bad scrape. <laughs> and, well, we've been good friends and comrades in arms ever since. Maybe you should tell Dozer that story. Tell Dozer? Why would I? But perhaps you're right. It would be pleasant to talk over old times. There was a period when the fighting was so intense that we lost touch for a while. But as of late, there have been more opportunities to talk to him and the others from Alio again. We used to discuss military matters exclusively, but now we talk about everyday topics too. And you know, it's all thanks to you three. I'm truly grateful. Yay! I'm glad I was able to help. Let's see. Hey, I'm back. How's it going? Great. This is actually really relaxing. Glad to hear it. I guess it's uh, <laughs> kind of a blessing in disguise that things didn't work out yesterday, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. Don't apologize. Not your fault. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up. I'll be right back. Okay. Greetings. What are you up to? The Alio people have asked me to investigate the lower level of Maquad, so here I am. I was enjoying the breeze and collecting my thoughts. As you of course already know, there's a broad open space at the bottom of this pit. And that space is filled with rows of large buildings. Old documents have these various structures labeled as energy plants. In other words, structures that house devices capable of producing energy. Until now, Ritem couldn't spare any manpower to learn more than that about Maquad. As far as we were concerned, the place was always little more than the lair of Renis Ritem. But now, as it turns out, we have a little more time on our hands. So Alio asked that someone come and examine the place further. I've always been curious about it. So naturally, I volunteered. Lately, Alio has been sending a survey team of its own to conduct all kinds of investigations. What kind of investigations? They even allowed me to help with things I've never even done before. Oh yeah, it's been I know slow what that going, feels like. But I am learning more and more about the plants. For example, did you know that some of those facilities are still operating? And apparently, the energy produced at those plants even helps supply Ritem City. The plants require no maintenance whatsoever. They simply keep operating forever on their own. I could never even imagine such feats of engineering. But to think that our lives were being powered by energy created in the enemy's stronghold. Truth really is stranger than fiction. I learned something else, too. Some traces of something having to do with the dolls were found in the McQuad facilities. Traces? What does that mean? I do not yet know the details. All I know is that the Alio survey team found something that's connected to the dolls in some of the facilities. We had always made the assumption that the dolls simply found that big pit and decided to inhabit it. But if there is a deeper relationship between the dolls and those buildings, then something is definitely fishy. At this point, all we can do is speculate. I will be sure to let you know if I'm able to learn anything further. <sighs> It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Finding something else that could pique my interest as much as combat or music does. In a better world, perhaps I might have been a research scientist. 
One never truly knows down which path fate will lead him. <laughs> well, that definitely sounds like Hirashi. Who sounds like me? Howdy does. Hmm. Well, that looks to be all over Tim done, so... I guess next episode, we'll see if there's anything left to do of... Or, um, Gavaris. Or if any side qu side stories got unlocked anywhere else really um <laughs> if uh i don't if we're that if that's all of them done not really sure what i'm gonna do next week Tashi, there's a bunch of content that's come out since you started this that you've been neglecting you should really you should try to play this game more you've been you've been really i know i know I guess we'll just see what happens next week. If you got this point in the video, it means the world to me, as it always does. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Farewell. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was enjoyable with me in it. Um, you did great, honey. No.